All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. All right, here we go, boys and girls. I gotta put the GoPro in my mouth. I'm assuming that all of you guys are here to see a specific video, and that is zip line. Okay, I'm blowing up on TikTok right now. What are the odds? Mark, Mark, Mark. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're back with another video. We're building a treehouse. Wait, wrong, wrong video. Wrong video. We're building a zip line. If you guys haven't got it yet, we're live on the site. So we need a lot of wood. Yeah, now she's stuck. Now. Oh, yeah, it's just stuck. Hey, go there, now we go. Oh. What the f it's going to oh, we're just gonna we're gonna leave it here. As you guys can tell, building a zip line is easy. We need something to zip the line on. Okay, so we got this to choose from, I think. I think this should work. No, Mark, that's not we can't zip line on that. 840 pounds. That no Mark. This holds 96 <laughs> pounds. This would hold my girlfriend. How much is that? How long is it? How how many feet? 100 feet. feet? Oh. No, we're just gonna freaking take this. Oh, wait, there's a 50 foot one too. How many feet do we need? 100. We'll take, we'll take the 100. So obviously they knew we were building a zip line because they put the pulleys and everything in one section. So this holds 550 pounds. How much do you weigh? 620. Okay, so that's not gonna work. One, two of these. We got the spacers, we got a carabiner, we got a pulley. Sick. Now we need some tubing. So that's our, our tightening tool. This is our tubing to go around the tree. That is all the stuff to make it. These are our things so we can get up the tree. You will see that later. So if any of you guys have two trees in your backyard, you can absolutely do this. Your parents may say no. So just do it really late at night when they're sleeping. And uh, that's how we did it with the pond. And, and they can't do anything after it's done. I'm just kidding. Don't get me in trouble by your parents. 700 back down to 250. Three days later. Okay, it's the daytime. I went back to Home Depot because, uh, well, actually, I, I'll, ju I'll just show you. There's a lot of wire and, and moving up to that tree, and then there's those that we built up it. And to be honest with you, it kind of came to the conclusion that I wanted just to build a tower up there and it'd be super, super nice. And yeah, kind of just like that. So I went and spent like another $100 to build a tower. Let's do it. You guys got a little bit dusty. And now you're foggy. Okay, if you guys couldn't tell, this is what we're making as our ladder up to the top with a base and everything that you can stand on. You can just run and jump and just send it. So that's the, that's the idea. Okay, well this is our uh, our ladder basically. As you guys can see, we climb up here. I gotta put another one right there. It's a little bit of a gap. I've gotta finish bracing all of the middle of this, but we'll be standing on this and that's where you just launch and fly. When I'm done with everything, I'm kind of gonna explain to you guys if you wanna, like if you have a backyard and you wanna do this, the simplicity of it, it's just while building it, I'm kinda doing things my own. So when I'm done, I'll explain everything, we'll run over it and we'll uh, we'll send it, you know? I'm in the middle of editing that part right now. I just want you guys to know how painful that was, just so you know. Oh, it's heavy. That was sketchy. So I basically got this tower built up into this tree. Now it is officially just time to get the zip line onto another tree. Okay, so I just had to run back to Home Depot. Okay, we're back. The little like carabiner thing that I got was too big to fit on the pulley, which is, uh, is that annoying? Yes, that is very annoying. What we need, this little thing right here holds 580 pounds. Yeah, we should, we should just do this. And we also need this. And then on top of that, this, oh wait, yeah, this will be our 
handle, which it should work. I would think it would work. I don't know, maybe a little bit thicker might be better. Does that look, I mean, that looks like a good handle. It's a little windy. Oh, it's, it's really windy, as you can tell. I got the stuff though, let's go home. Now I've got to show you guys how I'm making the handle for this thing because uh, it wouldn't fit when I did it earlier. We've got a new strategy. Okay, so obviously I just cut this. I put this loop in here, which is what we're using. Then here's that little thing that I grabbed that oddly holds a lot of weight. We're gonna open it up. No way. Oh my, thank God. That almost didn't fit. I would have cried. This side, lock her back up. And that is what we've got to now roll on the zip line. So that's a way better handle than this PVC rope pipe deal that I had going on. So we're gonna use this. Look at Steven, it's his favorite thing. He loves a four wheeler. Isn't that right? Okay, I, d I don't know what I was doing, but I did it. We've officially built a zip line. So here's how she works. <laughs> So I got the stand behind me right there. It was way taller than that. It was like probably three almost four feet taller But it comes from the ground it goes up to that stand. So yeah, that's neat You can no problem like get up on this thing and stand like I'm really high up right now But here is the top of the zip line So I've got this tubing going around it and what this tubing does is it doesn't let the zip line like actually cut into the tree and hurt The tree and then I've got it secured right here and it just goes all the way down But yeah, so I want to kind of box this in so like you can't just right off like you'll have to like nudge something and then What's actually holding this to the tree right now is literally just that. She works, I think that's the important part, but the stand, that's done. The zip line is actually all mounted up and good, and I don't know if you notice, but the goats are eating the rope. I'm gonna shorten that rope up quite a bit. And Steven is on the four-wheeler. I think what I am gonna do in the future, though, is raise this up higher. Um, I think that's a must because it goes fast, but uh, I don't think it goes as fast as I want it to. But now, let's go down there and check out the bottom. So this is where the actual handle is that like you grab onto and swing on. I have this on here so I can pull it back up to the top. I do gotta shorten it up a lot because it's really, really long. Probably like to here so it's just kinda hanging. But yeah, that's the actual thing you're zipping on. Here is this, this is my idea. It's this pool noodle that's on there that slows you down and it also kinda protects this part of the line. I've gotta tuck this inside of there. But back here is all like the equipment that actually tightens the zip line. It's some pretty easy stuff. I, it's in the tree there. I gotta put a safety wire around here. Grabbing onto this wire and going around the tree in case this breaks. But yeah, and then I got obviously these that clamp it together and yeah, that's that. So with all that being said, I think it's officially time to ride this thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. All right, here we go, boys and girls. I gotta put the GoPro in my mouth. It's pretty sick. I like it quite a bit. I do think it needs to go a little bit higher and a little bit tighter. It's really, really tight, but I think I can make it tighter. But overall, it's 110% would have been my dream backyard as a kid. Was GoPro montage cool? Like, did you guys like that? I, I wanna know. Let me know down below if I should use like more GoPro footage when I'm doing things. I, I think it's kinda cool. Where, where are they at? Oh. Have you guys seen it yet? Have you seen the zip line? Any of you? Why are you look so scared? Come hang out with me. Hey, hey sweetie. How's your day? What's up, big guy? 150,000% worth the build, absolutely. I genuinely, uh, yeah, I genuinely love this thing. Oh, those are on. That's on. Wow. Yeah. So hopefully you guys went on to enjoy today's video. All of the fish in the tanks are doing good. The gobies, the, the big fishies, everything. The bunny was actually just at the doctor the other day. I know you guys don't see much of the bunny, but it had an infection. It couldn't have been caused from me because it had to have been with other bunnies and it hasn't been with other bunnies. So they said it, I probably bought the bunny with it. And it's just some problems with its eyes. I went to the vet yesterday and now go to mozzarella. Has to get shots once a week, but he's doing good. You can't come out of there right now because the house is getting remodeled so we can't be like a house bunny for like the next week and that's just because I don't want him to get out or get hurt by any of the nails or anything like that. So that's that reason. But guys, we built a backyard zip line. You can do this yourself. I think in total is around 150 bucks. If you have a saw and a drill, you can build this. Oh my goodness, look. Freaking mini house. What the? You see that? I need to get one of those. But hopefully y'all went on to enjoy today's video. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button, click the like button. And with that being said, um, peace.
holo holo 